As the Earth's population continues to rise, the need to double food production by the year 2050 increases along with it. However, the pressing issue is not one of quality, rather quality and efficiency. And how to sustain the existing food supply while reducing food waste. Quality requirements is never ending. Just in the last few years, we've seen big increases in what end users expect. It's our goal to be the best almond processor in the world. So we're always looking for newest technologies to help us to achieve that. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the burden of foodborne illness in the U.S. affects roughly 48 million people each year. There's a lot of statistics out there about how uh, low quality food or improper processing storage of food can lead to uh, sickness and injury in people. In the California almond industry, we have an excellent track record. A couple decades ago, we instituted that all almonds sold in North America must be pasteurized, preventing those kinds of injuries that can happen from food. But it's not just pathogens that can be an issue. There's also impurities, things of that sort that can be an issue. And the Cusify um, sorting technology in particular with its emphasis on the food quality aspects, the other aspects, non-microbiological, uh, really help us to improve our quality. Inconsistency can affect our business. For example, you provide a very high quality product and then the next time it barely meets the specification, they end up disappointed with you. For several years, quality control in the food industry has been a manual process. Now, advances in technology are revolutionizing operations. Throughout history, almonds have been graded on a certain set of parameters, but they were done by humans, and that can be subjective. And the Cusify technology is objective and that gives you consistent results. Thanks to 3D vision systems that combine 3D technology, deep learning, and artificial intelligence algorithms, producers are able to analyze products or processes in a consistent and accurate manner, saving time and money and ensuring a safer quality product for all. The Qsify machine uses a combination of 3D image rendering together with machine learning algorithms to analyze every object. This results in a more accurate and a more complete classification of every element, taking away the human interference of the manual assessment. Until now, quality control was strictly done by, by hand. Until we introduced the Qsify machine, we fully tried to automate this process. Not only the sampling itself, but also the integration of the results into the customer's data managing systems. Using cutting-edge technology to transform quality control for the food processing industry, Qsify's fully automated system provides maximum consistency and is more cost-effective than previous solutions. It's an AI deep learning machine learning algorithm that takes in all the sample data from all the machines in California and in Australia and uses that information to relearn its algorithm and makes it better every time we update. And we try to continuously update the machines throughout the season to make them better and better, and especially to make them more consistent over time. Over the last year, we were able to run 50% less sampling time by just upgrading to the modern technology. So by the new technology, we can run faster and faster and more samples within the hour, uh, reducing the cost of every sample we run over the machines. In addition to automating the quality control process, Qsify pushes the limits by making use of the network effect of its technology. With every new user, we collect uh, more and more uh, user behavior, more and more data that will help us improve the systems, uh, which then ultimately benefit the existing customers as well. The quality control uh, in the food industry will improve by the fact that data becomes available quicker, whereas now uh, quality control is very often a manual process and it takes a very long time for the data to be available. Uh, with our system, uh, the data is available almost instantaneously and it's more consistent. So people get tired over time, but the machine will look at the product uh, in the same way every single day, uh, year in, year out. With increasing production volumes, labor costs, and end customer specs, the days of a human approach to quality control have to be over. We as humans have reached the limits of our capabilities. 
uh, even if we have done a job for five or ten years, there is a lot of factors that uh, affect our analysis. Somebody might run into a fight in the morning at home and it has its effect on the way that person looks at product. Then also the manual data uh, entry. Somebody instead of 500 grams might type 50 grams or 5,000 grams. We see that that's becoming the limit uh, in the quality control. So uh, we have to eliminate that human uh, error, uh, which we now see quite often. One of the big issues at the moment is, yes, we can track down where a pineapple came from or where an almond came from, but if product gets contaminated, we still don't know 100% where the contamination started. And so very often, a whole batch of product or all the product of one grower or one plant uh, gets destroyed. Whereas with uh, systems like ours, where we measure quality in different stages of the supply chain and then push that data into a blockchain, for example, uh, that's where I see a big uh, potential improvement uh, in the food industry, especially when it comes to like traceability uh, and transparency, because that's ultimately what the end consumers want. For more information, visit qsify.com.